surprise your guests. I'm sure they've never tried anything like this before. Take a fairly large apple, preferably a sweet variety. Cut it into four parts and remove the core, leaving clean quarters. Use a peeler to cut as many thin slices as you need. Lay them flat, slightly overlapping. Make two rows of apple slices like I do. Once you have your two rows ready, start rolling each one from the outside in, keeping the peel on the outside. This will create a shape that looks like a rose. Repeat with the second row of slices. If you're hosting more guests, make an apple rose for each of them. Place the apple rose in a cup and brew your favorite tea. Pour the hot tea over it and you'll see the rose open up beautifully. It looks stunning. And the tea gets a delicious apple aroma. My grandmother never throws away walnut shells. They're more valuable than you think, natural and rich in many nutrients. You can prepare a priceless infusion from them that can replace many pharmacy remedies. Take the washed walnut shells and put them in a pot. You'll need shells from about 10 walnuts. Grab one medium onion, peel off just the first outer layer, and cut off the ends. Slice it into a few pieces and toss it into the pot with the walnut shells. Add one cinnamon stick and a small piece of ginger. Cover all the ingredients with water. Boil for at least 15 minutes, then set aside for half an hour and strain. This drink helps with coughs, colds, and the flu. Onion, ginger, and cinnamon add flavor and enhance the power and effectiveness of the infusion. They have antibacterial and antiviral properties and contain many vitamins and minerals. After it cools slightly, you can add two tablespoons of honey. Buckwheat honey, in particular, soothes bouts of severe coughing. This tea has anti-inflammatory and warming effects. It helps alleviate flu and cold symptoms. Drink three cups a day, preferably warm, as it has better warming properties then. Have you heard of this recipe before? Have you tried walnut shell tea? Let me know in the comments. You probably haven't heard of this iced coffee recipe before. You have to try it. Coffee has never tasted better. I'll show you step by step how to make it. Take a bowl and gather your ingredients. You'll need 30 grams of instant coffee. Pour it into the bowl, then add one cup of sugar and one tablespoon of honey. Pour in 150 milliliters of hot water over these ingredients. To achieve a better consistency, Beat the mixture with a mixer for five minutes. After this time, the consistency should be perfect. Transfer the mixture to a plastic container, then place it in the freezer. After a few hours, take it out. Before you do, prepare a glass. Add ice to the glass, then pour in milk until it's about halfway full. Now it's time for our iced coffee. Take a spoon, preferably an ice cream scoop, and add two scoops of the coffee mixture to the glass. Stir it all together with a straw. You can store this coffee mixture for up to a month, but you'll probably use it up sooner. It's a perfect idea for hot days, but also for a quick morning coffee during the week. You probably haven't heard of this iced coffee recipe before. You have to try it. Coffee has never tasted better. I'll show you step by step how to make it. Take a bowl and gather your ingredients. You'll need 30 grams of instant coffee. Pour it into the bowl, then add one cup of sugar and one tablespoon of honey. Pour in 150 milliliters of hot water over these ingredients. To achieve a better consistency, beat the mixture with a mixer for five minutes. After this time, the consistency should be perfect. Transfer the mixture to a plastic container, then place it in the freezer. After a few hours, take it out. Before you do, prepare a glass. Add ice to the glass, then pour in milk until it's about halfway full. Now it's time for our iced coffee. Take a spoon, preferably an ice cream scoop, and add two scoops of the coffee mixture to the glass. Stir it all together with a straw. You can store this coffee mixture for up to a month, but you'll probably use it up sooner. It's a perfect idea for hot days, 
but also for a quick morning coffee during the week. A lesser-known cough and immunity syrup made from common household leaves. This natural mixture helps you breathe easier and provides relief from infections with its essential oils. It's a great alternative to onion syrup, which not everyone likes. This syrup uses just three ingredients. First, bay leaves, which contain cineal and eugenol with antibacterial and antifungal properties, as well as camphor and linalool for anti-inflammatory effects. Start with eight bay leaves. Boil 250 milliliters of water in a pot, add the leaves, reduce heat, cover, and simmer for about 15 minutes. Strain the leaves and let the liquid cool. Stir in six tablespoons of honey until dissolved, then add the juice of one lemon, transfer to a clean jar, and seal. Adults can take three tablespoons daily on an empty stomach, while children should have three teaspoons. This syrup also helps with digestive issues, indigestion, and bloating. It's inexpensive and easy to make but invaluable for your health. This isn't a drink. This dessert will surprise everyone. Start by dissolving orange gelatin in 400 milliliters of boiling water. Add the entire packet of gelatin to the water and stir until completely dissolved. Once the gelatin cools, pour it into a glass, filling it about two-thirds full. Be sure to leave space for the foam. Set the remaining gelatin aside at room temperature to cool. Once it's cooled, whip it until it becomes frothy and airy. This light foam will be a wonderful topping for your dessert. It adds a delightful texture and a touch of elegance. Spoon the whipped gelatin onto the set gelatin in the glass to create a layered effect. Place the glass back in the fridge for an additional 30 minutes to set the foam. The contrast between the gelatin and the foamy top will be a treat for both the eyes and the taste buds. Enjoy the delightful texture and vibrant flavors. Delicious coffee desserts perfect for any occasion. They're quick to make, and the result is stunning. This dessert not only tastes delicious, but also looks great when served. Start by preparing three cups. Pour 90 grams of chocolate sauce into each cup as the base. Next, gently whip 100 milliliters of cream until slightly fluffy but not stiff. Divide the cream evenly among the three cups to create the next layer. Now it's time for coffee. Choose the one you like best. Prepare it as you have done so far. Pour 200 milliliters of aromatic coffee over the three servings. Finally, lightly sprinkle cocoa on top for added flavor and an elegant touch. Done. These desserts are perfect for a cozy night in, easy to make, and truly delicious. I hope you give them a try.